Hey fam, how are you? So I was hoping that maybe in this episode today that we're going to at least figure out if Adriana, from what I can remember, so-called apologize, I guess, just like Connor so-called apologize and actually helped Ebony come to her senses about Lincoln. So we did leave off on the last episode, her going to go get her man. So they might actually in this episode be in good terms finally for once in how long and maybe even be better. So all of this that has happened might make Lincoln and Ebony better than what they were before. She would not hold back anymore. Her words exactly. We're going to see if she held the end of her bargain and not hold back and truly tell Lincoln what she feels and that she will not hold back her feelings no more from her ever again. Let's get right into it. We are now moving on to episode 23 of Jaded Love. And the title is, I told you I would be waiting. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know because sometimes titles... You can't figure out who is going to be that's going to say it. Because like I said, in every episode, it can be anyone. But we definitely know this is going to be Lincoln. Because who else been waiting for who? Lincoln has been waiting for Ebony for so long. He has worked his butt off to get this girl. And after all this time, she supposedly, supposedly, is supposed to be letting it all loose. So... We know it's Lincoln going to say this, so we're going to look forward to that. Let's see if she actually held the end of her bargain and told Lincoln exactly how she feels. So this is where she's running off to him to, you know, explain or tell. Where are you going, Ebony? I'm going to get my quarterback. That was the end last episode. <clears throat> she's going to get her quarterback. Excuse me. Can't go back there. Um, Do you know who this is? This is Ebony Fox. I'm going way ahead of myself. They're not married, but it sounds great. Yes, I can. Want to try it? But you don't understand. I'm Lincoln Fox girl. Yeah, like I haven't heard that one before. Technically, Ebony, he's right. I'm pretty sure there is a lot of girls who've been trying to see Fox and said the same exact thing. So you're going to have to do more proven than that. Or Lincoln himself need to come out and say something. Which is probably not going to happen. You can't prove it. Marcus! Marcus over here. Um, why are we talking to Marcus? Do you remember what he did to Gemma? Yeah. And he's with a girl. Why are we talking to him? Marcus. Yeah, is that are you gonna use him as your proof? Well, well, well. If it isn't Link's mystery girl and Gemma's psychic. Yeah, but at least he said mystery girl, so hopefully the security gets the hint if he even gets on social media. Can you tell him to let me by? I need to see Lincoln. Why? I, I just do. It's important. Yeah, should we even be trusting Marcus? Well, you tell Gemma that I'm sorry. We can, excuse me, we can tell Lincoln that you're, not Lincoln, what am I talking about? We can tell Gemma that you're sorry, but that will be it. You will not get any type of day from Gemma anymore. She's with Alex. We're going to leave it that way, but we will tell her you're sorry. Gemma has moved on with Alex and I'm happy for them. I really messed up and Gemma didn't deserve that. So can you just tell her that for me? 
We sure will, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That is, that is exactly how I feel right now. So we're going to say that. All right. It's cool. You can let her through. But Link's not back here. He's still on the field with Alex. Oh, so then we're going to the field then. That should be more easy to access. I'm telling you, bro. Most of those calls were bull. Eh, either way, we won. Lincoln! Yeah, it's Ebony. Did you not know she was coming to the game with your jersey on? No, he didn't, obviously. You told me to come back to you when I figured it out. And I told you that I would be waiting. Didn't I tell you? Well, be ha oh, I, I thought Alex was not being happy, but he is. All right, man. Two wins tonight. Yeah, that is technically a win. Now, I'm going to get my girl. Yeah, she's there too. I love you, quarterback. <gasps> she said it. How cute. I love you so much. And I'm finally ready to let you love me back. Yeah, and it took Connor and her sister to figure that out. I I think I'm going to need to hear you say that again. Yeah, he loved it. I love you. Once more, just to make sure that you're not dreaming or something, trust me. For Ebony to be saying that, it's a dream. I'm just kidding, just kidding. I love you, Lincoln Fox. I love you too, Ebony Sinclair. Wow, what the most beautiful couple in the world. Don't be getting dirty though, Elise. Not yet, you gotta get married first. We spent a few long moments lost in each other on the stadium field before Lincoln threw me over his shoulder, carried me to the car and raced home. The second we entered through his front door, a hunger took over his eyes and he crashed his lips onto mine. I didn't hesitate to kiss him back. I was so weak, so desperate for him. My body misses his touch. My heart misses his warmth. Need and desire overwhelm my soul as he pulls me into him and his tongue slips its way past my lips. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. I could stay like this forever. Um, I don't think you'd be able to eat. And if you don't eat or drink, I'm pretty sure you would um, die of starvation. So you can't stay like that forever, Ebony. We all know that. Lost in his arms, with his delicious mouth all over me. I just love how he holds me so close, so tight, so I never let go. It makes the wall that I've been hanging so high start to crumble, piece by piece, falling, breaking, torn down by the heavenly love that I feel flowing out of him. My mind wrapped in complete bliss as he whispers sweet, I love yous in between his passionate, wild kisses. I love you. We get it, guys. You love each other. You finally can say those words to each other. Now, let's just turn that love into lost times that Lincoln obviously lost a lot of time. I love you so much, gorgeous. Yeah, we get it. Mm-hmm. I love you too, quarterback. I let out in a breathly sigh, finding it hard. I accidentally pressed the screen. Why do I always do that? <sighs> my head disoriented as his hand reaches around my neck and entangles in my hair. 
my heart erupting as his hand grasped at the clothing barrier between us. Yeah, let's just switch places so we can see Lincoln taking off his shirt and look at his back because that's what we want to see. Somehow, some way, his jersey magically makes it his its way off his body. Um, it did not because obviously he had to stop kissing you for just a second to quickly rip off his shirt. Because you can't get it off without stop kissing, right? Unless he really got magic powers. Mine soon follows. On the screen, it really does look like it's magic. Because they're definitely still kissing while their shirts are disappearing. It might be magic. And then her pants magically just poof out of nowhere. Then my... Yeah, you're what? Oh my gosh. Lincoln. Lincoln. How can you talk when your mouth is full? I'm sorry. I just missed you so much. I just want you so bad. I, I don't think I'm ready. How long has it been, Ebony, and you're not ready? But I understand. Get married first. Then you'll be ready, right? Oh, she knew that. That's why. She's not ready. Lincoln, she's not ready. But she loves you. You mean you've never... No, she's never, Lincoln. I have. With who? Was it Connor? That's the only relationship we know you've been in. But only a few times, and it was a really, really long time ago. It's been a while for me too, love. Months is different from years, Lincoln. I'm nowhere near as experienced as what you're used to. How do you know he's experienced? This is no laughing matter. I just find you yelling at me. My half-naked, quite adorable. Well, I'm glad you find my insecurities adorable. No need for fighting, guys. You just got in a good place. Let's not fight. There's no room for fighting. Unless it's probably not fighting. But it sounds like it is. I wish you could see yourself how I see you. Because I think you're perfect. And I'm going to remind you of that every single every second of every day i don't care about the experience you do or don't have i care about you pumpkin and that right there is a man you and only you i never want you to compare yourself to anyone from my past because they are so so insignificant Nothing I had with them can ever compare to the love I have for you. Yeah, let's get back to the happy place. Not that happy place. I'm just saying like not arguing happy place. Well, we'll wait, sweet pea. Are you sure? Of course. I never want you to feel pressure to do something you never or you're not ready to do. I'm just happy you came back to me. See, that's, that's, that's a good, that's good. That is good. And I'm sure we'll make up for lack of experience when the time comes. She didn't say she wasn't experienced. You know, intimacy isn't always just about sex, pumpkin. Sometimes it's simply sleeping in the arms with the one you love the most. Yeah, pretty much. Sometimes it's being close and feeling the unspoken passion you have between one another. And that's okay for now? More than okay. Yeah, because he wasn't getting it before. You were, you were being hard to get. So you actually expressing yourself and telling him you love him, that is way more than he can ever want. I love you, Lincoln. 
Ah, I'll never get tired of hearing those words leave your lips. Well, he might be right. I don't even know why I said well. Do not mind me. Even though I'm completely whooped over the game, whooped over, whooped over the game last night. I can't sleep. I'm too happy. I have my pumpkin back. I have the love of my life wrapped in my arms, sleeping peacefully on my chest. She's finally mine. Yeah, for so long you've been waiting. And I promise, I swear, with everything in me, I'm never letting go. I can't even bring myself to look away from her. I'm always afraid that in the blink of an eye, she'll leave me again. She promised she wouldn't, so we're hoping not. I couldn't imagine anything being better than scoring the winning touchdown at the Super Bowl, but hearing those three glorious words leave her beautiful mouth top that. It made me the happiest, proudest man alive. All I want to do is show her all the love in the world. All I want is to make her happy and keep her smiling for the rest of her lives. Of our lives. Not our, but their. You know what I mean. Lincoln. Yes, Pumpkin. I can feel you staring into my soul. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. What's wrong? Aren't you sleepy? Yeah, just thinking. Tell me what's on your mind. You, always. The only thing that pushed me so hard to win last night was you. I knew you were watching and I couldn't let you down. All I cared about was you coming back to me. I would have came back to you either way. Whether you lost, whether you win, she was coming. It doesn't matter what happened at the game. You're always a winner to me, quarterback. But it still was good that he won. So that his teammate won't be on his nerves. I'm not letting you leave this bed today. Fine by me. As long as we take a snack break at some point, of of course, Ebony has to have some type of snack, preferably cake, because it's her favorite. So as long as you got cake, she's good. Rise and shine, lovebirds. There's Jeremy ruining the moment, but it's okay. Maybe we got work to do. Link has a busy day ahead of him. I'll be waiting in the kitchen. You got it. As long as it's not, um, I can never remember her name until it's time to remember it. Oh, Taylor. She's not important, obviously. So much for staying in bed all day. I know, sometimes it feels like the football stuff never ends. Well, if the season is over, you technically have a break. I thought we would get to spend some extra time together now. We will, trust me, there's nothing else I'd rather do. I probably just have a few interviews because of the big win. Yeah, because I'm saying, season is over, they won the Super Bowl, so you have half of a year to be together. After that, I'm all yours. We can do whatever you want, go wherever you wish. Maybe we can even visit my place in Italy, if you're up for it. Really? Anything you want, Pumpkin. Well, she will take your word on it. I can't believe I get to wake up to such an angel. Yeah, get married already. Come on, guys, we don't have all day. At least he's not Taylor. Congrats on the win, Link. Thanks, man. Now let's get down to business. 
But I thought game season was over now. If, if, make it make sense, Jeremy. If would have been, it, it, Jeremy, it would have been if they lost. That what, that's what you're saying, right, Jeremy? Make it make sense. But they didn't. So everyone wants to talk to the greatest quarterback of all time. We already have two interviews lined up and that, and that, important meeting about your contract is later today and we'll have to get you into a tailor in the next few days so you have a suit ready for the award show is ebony coming of course she's coming of course be prepared for that too because a lot of attention first year you're bringing a date do you think you need a designer ebony i can line one up a designer for what oh we know that she's not used to that stuff she's used to just going to the thrift store or wearing her mom's clothes probably the nfl honors it's the first year i'm nominating for playing for player of the year so i'd love for you to be there you're going to be a player of the year well maybe hopefully of course I'll be there. I wouldn't miss it. Great. Make sure you're free tomorrow and I'll set up an appointment for the, for the both of you to meet with the designer. Mm -hmm. They have to match. They got to look like a couple now because they're, they're official. They said, I love you. They're official. I have to go check on my mom and get ready for work. Okay. You're coming back, right? He's so afraid that she's going to lose, leave again that he's asking her if she's going to come back to the house. She's coming back, Lincoln. She's not going nowhere this time. We will make sure of it. I'm never leaving again, quarterback. You're stuck with me now. And I'm pretty sure you're the one who said home is where the heart is. Yeah, he did say that. I'll see you after work. She's still working. Yeah, she loves working at the bookstore. I would never take that away from her. Well, at least she's not being lazy and at least she's not with Lincoln for his money. That is, that is great, actually. She's still being independent and she's still knowing that there is life out there and there is responsibility and we cannot rely on a man. Well, she might have to give it up anyway. Plus, you're the second highest paid player in the NFL. And after this win and your next contract, you may be number one. I don't think minimum wage at the bookstore can compare to that one. Yeah, but like I said, Ebony is independent. She doesn't want to use Lincoln for his money like all these other girls were doing. You haven't told her yet, have you? I can't, Jer. Not yet. She just came back to me and she just opened up and told me she loves me. I can't do anything to mess that up. We've come so far. Why would this mess anything up? It's a good thing. I've heard teams are already starting to fight over you. Be prepared for some big offers. And wouldn't you want her to come with you if you if it comes to that? Of course. But it's ultimately up to her. She's coming. She she's lived in Seattle all her life. Her mom's here. Her friends are here. Moving away with a new team would scare her. She runs when she's scared. And I will not lose her again. Well, you gotta tell her. She's gonna find out. And it's better from you. It is. Listen to Jeremy. He's telling you the truth. Didn't you learn your lesson from the last time you withheld information and she thought you were a liar? I know. I'll tell her. I just wanted to enjoy our happiness for a second. She may surprise you, Link. 
you never know. Maybe she'll be excited to move and experience a new city. She might be. We don't know. She is Ebony after all. We're at mom's. Hey, Ma, how are you feeling? Did you find a man, Mom? Because we want you to be happy, too. Honey, you had me worried. You never came home after the game. Uh, did you not tell your mom that you and Lincoln has fixed your issues? Oh, I stayed at Lincoln's. You're moving in again? I never really moved in, Ma. But I did tell him that I love him. You're going to make her excited. See? I'm so proud of you, sweetie. I really needed to hear some good news after everything that's been going on. Yeah, did you tell her that your sister is moving back in? I'm sorry, Mom, but I don't think I can stick around if you're going to let Dad come back. It will hurt me too much to see you wasting your life away with him. Dad's not coming back. I only ask you to leave because I don't want you to see your father and I fighting. See, everything's great, Ebony. I decided to divorce him. That's great. I mean, no, you, you, you meant exactly what you meant. It's great. No, you're right, Ebony. It is a good thing. I don't want to be with him anymore. It will be good for me to finally let him go. And Ebony, that's what she wants to hear. Then what's wrong? The airline cut my hours. They've been talking about closing down for a while now. And I think it's finally happening. That you have to retire or you're going to be out of a job. And at the worst possible time. I've already con contacted a lawyer and I can't afford it. Not to mention, we'll have to move. He's already made it known that he wants me out. I just, I don't know how I'm going to manage all of this. Don't worry, mom. We'll figure it out. I'll pick up some extra shifts at the bookstore. Gemma and Jagger are always asking me to cover for them anyway. And we don't need to live anywhere fancy. Or we can, you guys can just live with Lincoln until you get back up on your feet with another job or something. I'm pretty sure he won't mind. An apartment across town would, would be just fine for us. And I don't want you worrying about this. It's not your job to figure it out. I'm not a little girl anymore, Ma. I don't mind helping when I can. Especially if that means you'll finally be free from dad. Yeah, she will do anything now. Please, let me help. Just give me a little time to see what I can do. If I need you, I'll let you know. That's all you have to say. It's going to be okay, Mom. Us Sinclair women are strong. We know. We'll get through this together. Thank you, sweetie. I don't know what I would do without you. Um, Ebony, excuse me. I hate to like get into like in between the mushy and the in the gushy gushy with your mom, but um, are you gonna tell her about your sister Adriana moving back in? I'm pretty sure she doesn't know yet. Guess not. I swear, Ebony, I'm waiting for the catch. I'm waiting to wake up from this fairy tale. There is no catch, Gemma. Trust me. You are living a good life now. Alex is treating you like the princess, queen you should be. And it's not a dream. Just accept it like Ebony accepted Lincoln. Like, no one can be that perfect. He's handsome. He treats me well and is amazing and be we didn't need to know your fantasy world, girl. We don't always need to know that you're giving it to somebody. Keep it to yourself, Chama. It's not fair. How was that funny? So tell me, did you and Lincoln have as good of a night as Alex and I? 
If you mean did they do it? No, they did not do it like you did, Alex. Yeah, see, she's not you. And please don't try to mold Ebony into you. We don't need that. What are you waiting for to get married? Obviously, you're not waiting to get married, Gemma. They're going to get married first. They have to. It's the right thing to do. I don't know. We almost went there and I, I freaked out. Don't you want to? I think so. Heck yes. She thinks so. Because she's going to get married first. I always overthink and it ends up ruining the moment for me. You just have to let go, Ebony. No, that's your thing, Gemma. Let it continue be your thing. Stop thinking so much and let the love take over. And look where have look where it got you with Marcus. I'm sure Link will make it special and take very good care of you. I want it to be special for him too. I'm so afraid I'll disappoint him. Oh, please. He's probably been dreaming of that moment since wedding number one. Oh, yeah, because they did attend two weddings together. Not their wedding, but someone else's wedding. They met at a wedding and they met again at another wedding. Just saying. If it was just about sex, he would have given up a long time ago. He loves you, Ebony. And being intimate is just another way you can show that to each other. Yeah, when they get married, Gemma, you're right. Ebony, remember you're a woman. Get married first, please. Duh, I'm always right about this stuff. And if Link is anything like Alex, you're in for a good time, girl. I guess I'll find out soon. Yeah, we can get married. I better be the first to know. Well, <clears throat> you guys are weird. And she's eating pizza. Again, nothing healthy. I ordered pizza. I hope that's okay. That's more than okay. He don't care about your pizza. It's perfect, Pumpkin. I hope I get to come home to your beautiful face every day from now on. Well, I did bring some more of my stuff with me. Yeah, she's literally moving herself in. Good. We'll get the rest tomorrow. Hey, I didn't say I was moving in. Technically, you are because you're slowly, may not be fast, but you're slowly moving your stuff in. That's technically what you're doing. Well, you sure as heck not leaving again. I should have never let you get away in the first place. I'd always come back to you, quarterback. And I'd always be there waiting. E, aren't you hungry? Starved. How was your meeting today? Fine. How's your mom? Oh, thanks for asking. At least you care. Not so great. She's divorcing my dad. Wow, good for her. Yeah, but lawyers are expensive. And she's worried because the airline cut her hours. And my stupid father already wants her out of the house. Gosh, and here I thought he couldn't get any worse. Oh, trust me, Lincoln. If you knew the things that we heard the mom say about him, there actually isn't nothing worse than that. I'm so sorry for you guys. I'll take care of it. Take care of what? Everything. I have great lawyers. I can tell them right away. Your mom may not even need to move out. I think at the very least she's entitled to the house since your father is a proven cheater. Does it work that way? I, if he, if her name is not on the house, I don't think that'll work. If the dad's name is only on the house, technically it is his house. You tell me how that works. 
If not, she can have this house. Why? Are you going to buy a new one? This house? Do you usually just give away your property? No, but I might have to sell this place anyway. Why? Where will you live? Oh, so he finally might be telling her that he might get scouted by other teams and he might have to move away and she might, if she wants to, have to move with him. And the mom can just have this house. I think he might be telling her. We? So you are moving in. Lincoln, this is serious. Well, this isn't how I wanted to tell you. But one of the meetings I went to today was to talk about my contract. I'm a free agent as of right now. And that means I may not be a stallion next season. I may have to relocate, Pumpkin. Re relocate? Why did you stop the story there? Yes, Ebony, your quarterback might have to relocate, meaning move either to a whole nother state because that's how teams work. If you become a stallion, you have to move to Seattle. If you become another team, you have to be in that state because that is now the football team's home. You know what I mean, Ebony. So... I guess she's going to have to, at that point, choose if she's going to go with Lincoln or if she's going to stay in Lincoln's house in Seattle with her mom. But at least they'll be in a big, nice, fancy place and the mom don't have to worry about it. But we will see what she choose in the next episode. So not much have happened that was juicy in this episode. But he told her. So where can we go from there? It can either be bad. It can either be she run away like he say she was, which I don't think Ebony will do that because she promised she wouldn't do that no more. Don't do that, Ebony. Or she'll move with him to wherever he gets contracted to, hoping that. I mean, you're a big girl now. You don't need to be living with your mom. You can come and visit whenever you want to. And... Take your friends with you and y'all get a job at the bookstore and wherever he goes, I guess. I don't know. Or he might give you another job option. I'm just saying the options. But that was the end of this episode. If you enjoyed this story, give this video a like. It will help my channel out so much. Are you guys subscribing to the channel? Because this is a rare breed channel. You are rare. Can't get you nowhere else. Be a part of the family. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you won't miss another juicy story. Wow.